I'm a thinker, I could break it down I'm a shooter, a drastic baby I'm a thinker, I could break it down I'm a shooter, a drastic baby GundamForums.com Hey everybody, Rob from Rob's Gaming Network and Plum Otaku, and I'm here today to show you the rest of the Wing Zero Proto's parts, so let's go over the weapons. Now, I'm going to start with the elephant in the room here. It's really cool that the beam sabers fold up into the shoulders, but when you look at the beam saber, this, for a master grade, this seems a little, how shall I say, small. I mean, look at the blade compared to the handle. I mean, I, I like the katana-style beam sabers. I think they're really fantastic, but this this just comes across as being way too small. Other than that, if you can get over that, it's a pretty nifty beam saber, and if you look down here, there's a little slot for you to put it in the hand, so it is not going to go anywhere. Now, when you talk about Wing Zero, the first thing that should come to mind other than an awesome mobile suit is his twin buster rifle. Looking at this thing, I think the color application's really good. I think it probably could have used a third tone. But looking at this straight off the bat, I do like the Kotoki redesign. You have some vents over here. Not too sure what this little circular piece is doing there, but I like the excellent mold detail. The handles probably should have been a little bit thicker, but with the grooves in there, I think it looks really nice. Let's see, these vents probably could have been done a little bit better doesn't really seem like they would do anything other than being grooves for a grip or something. And I really, really like this color separation down here with the yellow, but when you turn it upside down, it's kind of like, eh. Don't you think that part right there in the middle should be yellow? But I digress anyways. So when you look down the barrels, it does look like they actually, I don't know if they drilled it out or that's just the way the process molded it, but it looks fantastic. There's no work necessary to further drill those down, and the handle here will move in and out, and one complaint that I have regarding this kit, and this is with the bunker buster shot, is that when you put the two handles down like this, I can't get two hands in there to hold on to the handle, so you either have to cheat or you have to use different manipulators in order to get that shot. But, being a twin buster rifle, this does actually open up like so. And you could put one in uh, both hands, and there's little tabs here that connect the two. I always have trouble opening these because I can't remember which way they pivot. The easiest way to remember is that the open end of the square is where it starts to pivot and open. Uh, these two parts here, up in here, will come out, and that's for the transformation process for the Neo Bird mode. And really, the detail on the inside is okay. I think it probably could have been done a little bit better. I think they skimped out just a little bit. But it's adequate for what it needs to do. I mean, just a little bit of sanding, cleaning, and painting, it'll look fantastic. But they missed a lot of opportunities for details, perhaps, in my opinion. Other than that, I think the proportions of the Buster Rifle look excellent. And I can't wait to see what it looks like on the mobile suit. Another thing that comes to mind when I look at the Wing Zero is the shape and the size of the shield. Looking at Kotoki's redesign here, the first thing I think of is, A, this shield is really long, slender, and it kind of looks thin and kind of small compared to the old design. It's really, it grows on me. It's, it's not that bad. So starting with all of the color applications, they did a fantastic job with this. You put inner frame on, then armor on top of that, then red on top of that, then yellow on top of that. It really is a great design here. And it doesn't look like a lot of modification is going to be necessary down here where this bottom white part meets this edge here. I might have to, there's a seam line, I might have to fill that a little bit. But that's just me being nitpicky. There is a yellow part that looks like there's the cockpit for the Neo Bird mode. They give you a clear green part for this, although it kind of you can kind of see the gaps. So I don't know if you could put a sticker under there or over there. I'm not really a big fan of stickers, so I'm, I'm never going to do that. There are some panel lines and some grooves that you can ink with. It doesn't look excessive, but it doesn't look barren either. And one thing I never understood with the shield is that the Wing Zero Proto, not just the Proto, but the Wing Zero in general, has this ability with his shield called the Pile Driver. And what you do is you take this and you 
pull it out, and I'm, I'm just... Why does... What, what purpose does the pile driver have? And I don't know, but anyways, we'll put that back in. What's neat about this guy is, if you remember how I said in the wings there was a lever mechanism where the two were connected, so if you opened one, the other one opened with it. A similar thing happens here with these yellow wings as you move them down. There's a gear mechanism in there, and that will allow them to open up like this, and I bet that's probably for the Neo Bird mode, but it looks pretty cool anyways. So I'll flip that back up, and the attachment point is a very, very solid square rectangle here. You just right into the arm, and it'll work perfectly. And this little flap here is get it to rise, there we go, is to hide the head during Neo Bird mode. So all in all, it's looking pretty good, and I'm very impressed that Bandai included an inner frame for the shield. So that was a brief look at the weapons, that's just all we had to go left, and in the next video, we're going to put the entire mobile suit together, talk about its posability, how it looks, what I think they could have did better, some poses. We might throw the Master Grade Epion EW in there. Hope to see you then.